So it all started with a hearing of the Senate uh, Homeland Security uh, Subcommittee on Oversight, which uh, Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky chairs, where he wanted to talk about wasteful last minute spending. When Senator Paul listed a number of these wasteful spending projects, one of the, uh, one of the focal points that he noted was a study to check whether or not quails were more sexually promiscuous when they were given cocaine. $300,000 spent studying Japanese quail to see if they're more sexually promiscuous on cocaine. All right, I use that in speeches across the country because it brings a guffaw and then laughter and then anger at their government. But it turns out that this study, which he cited um, coming to a cost of $300,000 approximately, has actually received over $800,000. And that is because it turns out that quail are some of the best animals to study sexual behavior um, and the interactions with drugs um, as scientists develop different ways and drug therapies to deal with drug abuse in humans. Um, they're also readily uh, able to uh, demonstrate social behavior in captivity, and they also can see in color. And scientists can take the quails and put them in different uh, amounts of light during the day, so they can have like a certain amount of light, a certain amount of dark, and it will change their hormone levels to a, a way that's actually measurable that allows them to then introduce other variables like cocaine and see how the animals react. And multiple different types of experiments that were done. Of course, there was the study that uh, Senator Paul really doesn't like, which is the uh, giving the quails the drug and then seeing how it affects their rate of copulation, as the scientists would say. But there is also another study that they conducted where they simply gave the quails a certain amount of the drug, where they measured the quails' activity level. So they put them into like a type of maze or a type of, of, of arena and measured the distance that they ran. And that type of granular scientific observation can help when scientists are trying to develop drugs or other types of therapies. So.